What's up, gals and pals? It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're probably thinking to yourself. Hey, Vino, Jägermeister. That's right, folks. Today, we're stepping out of our comfort zone. We're going to use a spirit we normally wouldn't use, a spirit that would be in contrast to the class that is 60 Second Cocktails. You know what I'm saying? For those of you that don't know, Jägermeister is a notoriously infamous uh, spirit that people usually drink as a shot at, at, at a frat party or some nightclub or something like that, a pub or whatever. What's it in your lips? It's so good. Uh, but today we're gonna dress this up in a black dress or a black tie, whatever the case might be, a way to make ourselves two cocktails on the classy side of things. Because like I said, we're classy around here, right? Um, now I've not had either one of these cocktails, but they both look pretty good. So let's go ahead and give them a try and hopefully they taste as good as they sound, right? Now, let's do a little history about Jägermeister, right? Now Jägermeister is a German a bittersweet liqueur that is made using 56 different herbs and spices and fruits and they're all macerated together to make this bad boy here. Now, uh, the, the spirit was invented in 1934 by a father and son duo of Wilhelm and Kurt Mass. Now, the, 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 the word Jägermeister actually means hunt master. And that's why you see the little deer on the front of the table there because Kurt, the son, was a big fan of hunting. He was a big avid hunter. Now, Jägermeister was popular in Germany, but didn't really take off in the, in, in the U.S. or really kind of internationally until they did this whole marketing campaign um, where they started saying, you know, this is going to be a party drink. So they started, you know, really pushing into nightclubs and stuff like that as, as a shot. And before you know it, boom, it blew up. And uh, here we are today with the reputation of Jägermeister being kind of a party cocktail. But today, like I said, we're going to dress this up. We're going to get fancy today with it. And we're going to make two classy cocktails. All right, folks? So make sure you stick around because we're going to boogie down. All right, so like I said, today I'm gonna to make two cocktails using Jägermeister, but we're gonna class things up a little bit. So classy, in fact, that the first cocktail I'm making has a French name. Now that's as classy as it gets, folks, all right? Now the cocktail's called Pied à Terre. I'm not sure what the hell that means. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. And if I'm saying it wrong, I'm pretty sure my, my friend Stefan Foisy or Rob over at Rob's Home Bar are both gonna correct me, and that's all right, because I'm from the Bronx. Like my buddy AG, you know what I'm saying? We're from the Bronx and we don't say things right all the time you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway folks let's look at what is in the sauce the first thing we're going to need is an ounce of jaeger meister all right folks so let's go ahead and give ourselves one ounce of this um it's a it's pretty much a even part equal parts cocktail so we're gonna do uh, one ounce of jaeger meister then we're gonna do an ounce of lille blanc all right um, it says you could use your fortified wine of choice but uh lille blanc was the preferred option all right and then an ounce of cognac. You can use some brandy if you got it, because all cognac is is brandy made in cognac. All right, and so then after that, we're gonna do one dash of uh, Paysal's bitters, all right? One beautiful dash, there you go, all right? So let's go ahead and add some ice to our mixing glass. And we're gonna stir that for about 25 to 30 seconds, all right? All right, folks, I think we stirred that up just enough to get some nice dilution out of the cocktail. I definitely smell that, um, that Jägermeister, the spices from the Jägermeister, right? We're gonna go ahead and serve this in a Nick and Nora, which I had chilling like a villain down in my ass. And let's get our stuff here. Let's get our uh, julep strainer and get to pouring. All right, beautiful, excellent. All right, now there's no, there's no call for garnish or anything like that on there, so don't even worry about it, right, folks? So there's our pied de tete. All right, folks, now I'm gonna go ahead and set that cocktail to the side and we're gonna try them side by side at the end of the video, all right? So make sure you stick around for that, all right? Now, the next cocktail I'm making doesn't have a sophisticated French name, but it does have a sexy name, and that is called the Naughty German, all right? So let's look at what is in the sauce for the Naughty German, all right? The first thing we're gonna need is an ounce and one quarter of Jägermeister, beautiful. All right, and then we're gonna need a half an ounce of creme de cassis. Then we're gonna need a half an ounce of lemon juice. 
and a half an ounce of our simple syrup. All right, now again, I've never had these cocktails before. This one does sound like it might be a little bit on the sweet end, but we'll go ahead and find out, right, won't we? All right, so I'm just gonna add some ice to my shaker now. I'm gonna shake that up for another 10 to 15 seconds. All right, folks, I think we gave that a nice, healthy shake. All right, let's get our glass out. I'm gonna be using the coupe, which I had chilling like a villain in my eyes. And let's go ahead and pour this bad boy into our glass. All right, folks, I think that's all we're gonna get out of our shaker. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. And then we're just gonna go ahead and Float. You can do, you can express a lemon wheel on, a peel on it if you like or something. I'm just gonna go ahead and float a little lime, lemon wheel on the top there. And there we have it folks, our Naughty German. All right, we are ready to give both of these cocktails a sippy sip. We're gonna start with the Pied de Terre. Now, I'm pretty sure this means uh, like feet on the ground or, or something like that. Cause Pied in Spanish is pretty, it's pretty much feet. And terra is just like, it's like, like to what, the ground, you know what I'm saying? So I'm assuming it's feet, feet on the ground, or maybe it just tastes like feet, I don't know, we'll see. We'll find out right now, right? Let's go ahead and give it a sippy sip. Tastes nothing like feet, guys. I gotta be honest with you, this is actually pretty damn delicious. It's got some really beautiful herbal notes. I mean, it's super herbaceous, uh, but it's really balanced out. The cognac really adds some nice sweetness to it, giving it some cherry notes and some chocolate notes in there that really blend well with the herbaceousness. Um, the Lily Blanc, you know, because it's 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 you know it's it's not too pronounced. My assumption is that it's really kind of just mellowing everything out. This is actually a very nice cocktail, super classy. If I told you this was any other herbal liqueur, you would have thought it was just a very fancy cocktail. But then I said, you know, you hear Jagermeister, so you get a little thrown off by that. Hmm. That is very nice, guys. Very nice. You know, you're getting that those anise flavors and stuff, but it's not overwhelming. It is nice. This is a very nice cocktail. I really like that. I can see myself making that again without a doubt. All right. Now let's go ahead and try our naughty German cocktail. All right. Um, this one here is the is the is the creme de cassis and stuff. So you know, it's gonna obviously add some real berry flavors, some dark berry flavors. Let's give it a sippy sip. All right. All right, so now this one's not my thing, especially especially in comparison to that one. This one is, it's uh, it's not that even that it's so sweet. I, I just, I, I think it doesn't provide, considering this one has an ounce and a half of the Jägermeister versus this, an ounce and, three, an ounce and a quarter, but this one only has an ounce. I think the addition of the cognac and the Lake Blanc and it's because that's fort it's fortified, I think it just adds some more elements to it and it helps the Jägermeister kind of almost shine a little more. This one here, it's fine. It's easy drinking. It's but I would, it's nothing I'd make again. It's okay. It's okay. Let me give it another sip. Yeah, you're definitely picking up the herbs. You're definitely picking up that anise flavor. But the the um, I think the simple syrup, and it, maybe if I dial that back a little bit, maybe uh, a little even a little bit more, a little less creme de cassis. I don't know. There's a there's a sweetness to this that's why really kind of overpowering the cocktail. Not in a really bad way, but in a boring way. Like the cocktail is not fun. It's not exciting. It's just it's kind of like okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so listen, one out of two is not bad. I don't think again. I don't think it's a bad cocktail. It's just not the cocktail Vino likes. You know, Vino likes them like this. You know, I like got punch in the mouth. You know, I like complexity, you know what I mean? I want my palate to like start dancing. And this one does a really great job at it. I'm really enjoying this cocktail. The more sips I take, hmm, the more I like this one. This is definitely a cocktail that I'm gonna show to people when I wanna show them that Jägermeister could be taken seriously, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, folks, if you have Jägermeister at home or if you've ever been interested in trying Jägermeister, this is definitely one I would recommend, especially if you're like a classic cocktail kind of sipper, like your boozy cocktails, this is actually quite right up my alley. This is really good. This one is fine. Anyway, folks, listen, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, Sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, you make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.